Thanks for spending your Tuesday with us here on Mid Morning. We've heard the symptoms for COVID-19 can sometimes be confused with the cold or the flu. The dry cough, the fever, the shortness of breath. So what does COVID-19 do to our bodies? You took right. a look at this question I did yesterday. because yesterday CBS News correspondent Seth Doan came out and mm. he was talking about some of the, he had tested positive for COVID-19 and he was talking about some of the symptoms. So it got me wondering, you know, what is, what is actually happening? And it was interesting because he said he started off, the first thing he noticed was this cough that he was mm. kind of worried about. He'd always had a mild fever for the past couple of days and he felt like he had done a really heavy chest workout that, that his right. pain felt that in his pain. chest a little bit. So we wondered, well, what is it about this virus and how different is it from the flu? Uh, so we talked with a, a lung specialist actually hmm. on this one um, because this virus is different from the flu and for some people in the way that it can directly attack the lungs. A lot of times with flu, it comes in, or any uh, virus really, it comes into your whole body. It kind of, the inflammation happens over your whole body. But in some cases here, it can really get right at the lungs. And the lungs. those are the people mm -hmm. that can get very sick. That's why they're saying people with asthma should be mm -hmm. especially on guard. Let's bring in Aaron Hassanzada right. to the conversation because Aaron, I know you had a question about how this all works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I was curious, you know, for people who aren't concerned necessarily about their health, for young, healthy people who may have to be out there doing things, grabbing groceries, um, but for people who are concerned for spreading it on to other people, Heather, those mild symptoms, right, could right. show up and you won't even know. And I think that's the part that's concerning to, uh, you know, younger, healthy people who aren't necessarily concerned for their health. I just wondered if there's any insight into what those really mild symptoms could right. feel like and where in that two to 14 day window mm -hmm. is there like, are we seeing a pattern right. with younger, healthier right. people right. on when their symptoms might pop up? Because, you know, we're thinking about transmission at this point and community spread. It is. And that's why I thought it was interesting because there's so many people that say, let me hear about the people that recover on their own because the vast majority of people, something like 80% of people, are going to be just fine and actually won't even need any medical assistance, sure. and if at all, any limited medical assistance. So you talk about that idea of, of that dry cough, which really could be anything. Shortness of breath is another one that they really talked about. Shortness of breath could really be yeah. anything. And so that's why... Um, they have these other guidelines about who you've come into contact with, who you have, if you've done any international travel. Mm -hmm. At this mm -hmm. point, in fact, the, the Minnesota Department of Health is saying, look, if your symptoms are pretty mild, meaning that you can stay home and not have to do anything about them, then we're not even going to test yeah. you. And it's important to know, like, mild is it's still unpleasant. Correct. So, like, there was, there's a young man, Jonas Stillman, who's 20 years old. Yep who tweeted about being one of the first confirmed cases in Minnesota. He's 20, mm -hmm. and he said, he's like, hey, I'm a mild case, but I am very sick. He's yes. like, bad cough, fever, a lot of mm -hmm. congestion. Like, it's very unpleasant. So right. just know it's a, it's a real deal. It, absolutely.